Libra. So I'm here to do um, a love reading. So I asked on Facebook and I usually do generals, but everybody asked for love, so I'm going with love. Um, I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings if you want to check on my website, link in the description box below. I also do a two-question email video where I send a video back to yourselves, um, and that starts at £7.99, £7.99. Um, so I'm going to jump straight in. I will be doing the generals next week, and I'm also toying with the idea of adding financial and career. So I'm going to be using the Romance Oracle deck to do a Celtic cross, and I'm going to be clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. So Libra, we've got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. To me, that's attracting romantic love when you're not actually looking for it because she's concentrating, she's smelling the roses, she's concentrating on her life in general. You know, so it's almost like you get on with what you're doing, uh, get on with your life and you will start to attract. You know, because you're loving life, you're going to start to attract it. What we put out, we get back. Concentrate on self, that's what I'm getting from that. But we'll, let's have a look, we'll clarify anyway. So, challenge or blockage, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like there's trust issues that are holding you back. So, I could be talking to Libras who are single um, who've been hurt in the past, and you know, it's almost like you're kind of losing faith in love at the minute. I kind of want to say, don't lose faith just yet. I feel like there's. Uh, Surprises around the corner. Virgo got surprises and Gemini got surprises. Why is it coming around? Finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So there could be issues with your job, with your career. You could be focusing more on that. And in doing that, because you are focusing on things for yourself and bettering yourself, um, it's almost like you're using, using the laws of attraction to bring in. And I feel like financial blessings are coming in as well as love blessings. I know it's love reading, but I say what I get. So recent past, we've got past life relationship. You've known each other before. So in the past, there was some kind of past life relationship. Could have been a soulmate. Soulmates are not here. It's we can have so many soulmates and soulmates are not, it's not all like the lovey-dovey romantic. Yeah, we can have soulmates like that, but we also have people who we've shared past life karma with and things like that, that will come back in in order to clear that karma. So there could have been a strong connection in the past, that type of thing. You've felt this strong connection. Um, some of my Libras, I've got like this soulmate past life connection with somebody um and if you are in a couple finances could actually be dampening the relationship but i'm kind of swaying towards the singles um or maybe you've broke up due to stress with finances you know that type of thing so at present, we've got especially love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Single Libras, especially love to yourself. Self-love, self-care. What are you doing for you? Are you doing, you know, a little night time routine? Are you spending on yourself? Near future, you've got this soulmate coming in. Yes, this is your soulmate. So... Single Libras, I really do feel like there's a soulmate connection coming in. Um, coupled Libras, I feel like you're with a soulmate, but finances could be getting in the way of taking things forward. Um, someone could be stressed over finances or, you know, like lost a job within these lockdowns and things like that. So your power is to let go of control issues, allow things, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, it is a very natural reading though, so it's like, sit back and smell the roses, tough thing, like attracts like, trust your intuition, you've definitely got a soulmate coming up, yeah, outside influence, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, so a couple of Libras, there's a need to have a sit down and a real conversation, um, single Libras, I feel that it could come in the form of messages, getting to know somebody. 
definitely manifesting very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and that's with the attraction card so you could have been starting to use the law of attraction watching the secret doing meditations um scripting we are on a full moon so you could be doing releases and your outcome is engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so single libras you've gone through all this in the past because you've had to learn these kind of lessons uh, there's been some kind of soul contracts that are needed to end uh, ending of soul contracts so then you can move on to the next ones um, but you are ascending now so it's like you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn every person brings a lesson at lesson and within that lesson there will always be a blessing um, and it hurts at the time of the lesson but when you get past that lesson part and you realize the blessing within it you are ascending up you, you are climbing the ladder uh, in ascension, especially in love. But I feel like you need to learn how to love yourself. So let me get some clarity on these cards, Libra. Because I'm getting two different scenarios, singles and couples. I usually just go with what I get, but I'm getting, I'm getting two different stories. So attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So we've got the three of cups. So you could be out like with friends, socialising. Uh, some of my Libras are going to meet someone via like a friend um, being... Um, my words literally just keep going blank today. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. It could be through a work scenario as well. We have got the Nine of Pentacles. She's like sitting pretty. She's concentrating on what's going on around her. You know, she's not looking for anything. She's concentrating on the animals. Her pens building herself back up financially, you know. So it's like you're concentrating on your finances and what's actually going on around you. It's very much like the attraction card. Like, you know, you're concentrating on something else and then something else, someone else comes in whilst you're concentrating on something else. Um, I feel like you could be introduced. That's the word that I couldn't think of then. <laughs> We're out of Mercury retrograde and I'm a double Gemini and it's still happening. What is going on? There could be introductions. The challenge is the Five of Pentacles. It's not to it's to not block yourself off from this now because, the, again, with the trust issues and stuff, someone could have hurt you in the past and you felt like it was going somewhere. Um, don't block yourself off because of someone from the past. Financial and career... So we've got the five, five of cups. So I feel like someone's had to build themselves up after a financial fall. Um, but it's also, if you look at the cups, it's concentrating on what's spilled. But you've got the two of cups right behind you, which is the soulmate card. I could definitely meet someone at work or there could be a change in work, which gives you more free time. We've got the full card starting back at zero, dancing to the beat of your own drum. The hanging man. So seeing things from a different perspective. It's like having a pause back and seeing, looking over the lessons that you've had. So this past life relationship, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. But it's about that's someone who's who could be quite unstable. Uh, the Two of Wands. You might have just chosen to part ways. It was not a safe connection. Queen of Cups in reverse. So this person could have drank. Um, or they weren't emotionally invested or they weren't emotionally available we've got the nine of wands so we've got the wounded warrior um there could have been depression in the past it could have been someone who you were speaking to or someone who you had a relationship with uh depression or anxiety that type of thing they were in wounded the wounded warrior mode um i feel like that energy got too much for the connection yeah because we've got the six of wands in reverse you know there were no victory in this so we've got the Six of Swords, so it's about moving on. She's taking her lessons with her from storm waters to smoother waters. I feel like this is where the self-love comes in. Yeah, because we've got a transformation, so we've got the sign of Scorpio there as well. Uh, an ending to a new beginning. So there's definitely, you're going through a transformation. Be patient and wait for your ships to come in. We've got abundance coming in. If you're worried about finances, I wouldn't be. We've got the Hierophant. So a divinely guided union, and then you you're getting the soulmate. So it's like you've had to learn a harsh lesson, but it looks like it's someone else's like mental health or something that could have had um 
like brought chaos into yours. We have got the Page of Pentacles, um, so news, messages, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you could be that could be your energy or someone else's. You could be doing it with a fellow air sign. We've got the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So the Four of Cups in reverse. No more feeling of lack. So something is definitely coming in for you with this soulmate, the Eight of Cups, because you've learnt the lessons and you're off on a new adventure. August could be significant. Page of Cups. There is a new offer coming in. The Seven of Cups. I feel like you're going to have options in love. Seven of Pentacles. The seeds are already planted for this to come into fruition. We are in the seventh month. And the Hermit. Virgo energy. Doing the inner work. This person has as well. Knight of Wands in reverse. So I feel future-wise, I'm feeling a player energy and I'm feeling a soulmate energy. You could be tested by the universe. They're going to fall for the player because they look or sound more exciting. Uh, or are you going to go for the energy that can be trusted? Three of Pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. For some of my Libras, I'm getting this strong vibe that you're meeting someone at work or through work. And then we've got judgment. So it'll be a judgment call. You will need to make a decision on this. If it's the person from the past coming back, you will need to make a decision. Decision. We've got justice. I feel like you're ending karmic relationships because you are ascending now to a higher level of commitment. So let go of control issues being your power. Ten of swords in reverse. It's to heal from the past. Let all the, so let all the wounds heal from the past. Karmically, so then you can move on. Heart to heart conversations. Discuss your feelings with each other. So, the High Priestess, tell each other your secrets. King of Cups, this is someone who is emotionally invested, someone who's quite caring. Um, some of my Libras have been in therapy or counselling, but I'll picking up depression earlier. Um, counselling or therapy due to past relationships or where they've been treating past relationships. Um, but the King of Cups is generally like emotionally stable. Uh, quite caring, someone who you can tell your secrets to. I'm definitely picking up a soulmate in the future. So your love life is ascending engagement. Seven of Swords in reverse. You're coming out of that energy where anyone's like treat you, like stealing, lying, cheating, sneaking about. You're coming out of that energy now. So that's probably the cycles that you've been in. Devil in reverse. You're coming away from toxic energies. You're not putting up with it. The Knight of Swords, you're taking the action or someone's taking action towards you. We've got the Magician, Sign of Aries. Uh, but that, again, it's Manifestation. The Star, Sign of Aquarius. Um, but Blessings coming in, Balance coming in. Like It's looking back over the past lessons as Blessings, and that is what I'm getting in your reading. Because once you do that and you find the Blessing within the lesson... You're under no more illusions. So the moon in reverse, you're under no illusions. We've got the king of wands in the near future. You could be going towards Sagittarius Leo Aries. And the world, recognition. So it's like the world is recognising you for, for the work that you're doing. And there it is. The eight of wands, communication with a soulmate. Banging. <laughs> right, so I'll see you next week for the Bye.